Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, just stopping by. Hi. So April has been Counseling Awareness Month. And I say has been because there's only like one more week in April. Yeah, I just couldn't get it together to do it the first of the month, so sorry. Anyway, today I'm gonna be busting some myths about therapy, all right? So stick around, you might learn something. But probably not how to do your makeup. I know you guys have heard this before if you've been here. Not a makeup artist, all right? Cut me some slack. Right then, let's get to it, shall we? So I am excited about this video, not only because it's Counseling Awareness Month and I am a counselor, but, drum roll please. Finally got a new palette. And it's called Too Much Drama. I know, I know. Okay, so pretty neutral colors. So I don't know how interesting I can make this, but I will try. Anyway, myth number one. Therapists have it all together. They don't have any problems. That's just not true. All right, we're human too. I myself have ADHD, which works out well for me because people like to repeat themselves. I mean, no offense or anything, but it's kind of true. But it is often necessary in therapy to repeat things, you know, repetition, repetition, repetition until you get something down, until you work it out, all right? So again, no offense to anybody that repeats themselves like I just did. Myth number one, busted. Another myth bites the dust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love me some queen. Hey, we're gonna get you to another myth bites the dust. Anyway, myth number two, counseling is only for people that have severe issues. Also not true. Counseling can be for anybody from all walks of life. No matter where you're from, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've been dealing with, it can be for general upkeep and self-care. People can go to counseling for like career stuff, for instance, and also people can go to counseling not necessarily for issues, just to learn more about themselves, learn more about how they think, ways to improve. You can just go to do a little bit of self-exploration and just to have some outside insight. So that's another myth, busted. I hope you're not keeping count because I lost track. I had a little eye makeup mishap, so bear with me. Myth number three, I think. Therapists are just glorified drug dealers and pushers because they just try to get you to take medication, which is not true. First of all, we can't even prescribe medication. And second of all, you're the one in control. You get to decide what's best for you, okay? And some people might discover that they might be in need of medication after exploring some things, but never, ever, ever is a counselor or a therapist supposed to push medication, all right? So if you're in therapy and you feel like your therapist is doing that, maybe it's time to explore other options, okay? All right, myth number four, I think. Therapy and counseling does not work. Also, not true. Let's bust this myth, shall we? If you feel like counseling and therapy is not working for you, it could be for many reasons. One of those reasons could be that you just don't have the right fit with the counselor. And this is not uncommon, so that's why it's important for you to shop around and not give up, all right? Another reason that it could not be working or you feel like it's not working is because you're not doing the work. Now, sorry if that offends some of you, but it's true, all right? You gotta take the tools and you gotta implement them and you gotta use the strategies that you're given, okay? And you've gotta be willing to go to places that maybe are really uncomfortable for you. And not everybody is ready to do that, which is another reason why people might feel like it doesn't work. It's because they're just not ready to do it, okay? So whatever number myth I'm on, busted. Another common myth is that couples counseling is only for couples that are on the brink of divorce. You know what I'm gonna say? Also, not true. Couples counseling is just like any other counseling. It doesn't have to be when there's a serious issue. And sometimes it can actually circumvent problems that you didn't know may be present in terms of like how you guys communicate, for instance, or what you guys need. Also, premarital counseling is a thing. All right, I'm sure most of you knew that because you're smart. So it's not necessarily for when there's problems. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Another myth, busted. Another myth, that's dust. Another common myth is that therapy only makes things worse. Not completely true, okay? Because when you first start therapy, it can feel like it's getting worse because you're digging up stuff that maybe you haven't dug through, okay? Not always, but sometimes that is the case, all right? But it doesn't last long if you keep working at it, okay? Remember that other myth that I talked about? All right, if it's not working, it's because maybe you're not doing the work or maybe you're not ready. So just keep that in mind. 
Okay. And also counseling awareness month is not just to educate people about counseling, but also to advocate for our field and the counselors and therapists that really work hard to try to help enrich people's lives and improve mental wellness. All right. And most of us do work really hard to help people. All right. There are some bad apples out there, but that's the case with anything. So if you're considering therapy, keep these things in mind. Just inform yourself. Okay. Ask questions when you talk to a therapist or if you're ready to start counseling. So don't let those myths get in the way of your mental health. Okay. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all things. All my social media is listed in the description below. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. And then the one's gone, and then the one's gone, and then the one's gone, and then the one's gone.